Alright, now I'm back. I just had a few issues. I can't believe I wasn't around all week. I mean, if I was, it's, it's only because I have about... It's only because I can't keep videos of an issue. Whatever that might have been, even if it's... It was in the microphone. It was actually that one. Fine. I now admit. Now, let me just do this. Finally, ever again. Here I am again, in a fancy restaurant, pretending to be a billionaire heiress so I can find a rich husband. I took a deep breath trying to calm myself, but it wasn't a working. This is my 11th date like this, and the lies were getting on top of me. I couldn't keep doing this. Stop that. Getting You're not nervous, fake, are you? Richie. I'm allowed to be nervous. You're making me lie again. I can't keep going on these scammy setups. Well, it's not a complete lie. We used to be billionaires before your father made that ridiculous stock investment. <clears throat> but we're not rich anymore. Oh. And we're not lying. We're completely tricking them. I'm so sick of going on these dates. Marriage is about love and not money. Nonsense. Marriage is a way for families to come together to combine. What do you mean nonsense and all power. this? Well, that's depressing. Do you not want to help your family anymore? Is that it? I never said that. You know how much we've been struggling lately, right? You know your sister's medical bills. Do you want her to stop her treatment? Do you want to abandon her now when she needs you more than ever? If you like three things, then stop scrolling. My camera is full of photos I want to print, but it's always so. Look at that. Fine. I'll do it. For Tulip. Good girl. It's gonna be great. You'll see. Now get ready. You have to impress them. This is the richest family we've met so far. Oh, here they come. Hi. Hey. Great to see you again. Good to see you. This is our son, Jack. Hello. Hi. How are you? Oh, you're so handsome. You'd be perfect for our girl. You look so good together. What did you say? There you go. Uh, this is our daughter, Lily. Isn't she gorgeous? Mom, what is this? You told me that we were just going to lunch with some friends. Did you set me up with some rich girl again? Jack, don't be so rude. Just sit down and give her a chance. <laughs> now. Fine, I'll sit down. Brilliant. <sighs> Let's get this over with. Jack! This is embarrassing. Oh my God. I would be a terrible husband. Yeah, <laughs> you really do not want to marry me, okay? And my parents, oh my gosh, you'd hate them. Because my mom, she's constantly complaining. Stop it. Mm, this is what you get for tricking me into this. Wow, he's brave. I've never been able to talk back to my parents this way. Uh. Am I weak? I'm so sorry. He, I know, he hasn't right? grown up a bit. He just, he just wants to stay single stand up forever to yourself and ruin properly, this family. I'd say. I told you to stop setting me up, and you decide to trick me instead. <laughs> yeah, I'm out of here. <clears throat> I watched him get up and storm out, and I realized what this man was different from all the men I'd met so far. He was better than them. He was better than me. What the? I got a sudden burst of inspiration that day. What? I fought my parents again, begging for us to find another way out. I was going to put up a fight, just like Jack. But my mom wasn't giving in. Don't give me a hard time. I'm telling you. Let's just get multiple jobs. We'll all work harder together. We don't have to trick people. Work hard? Do you hear yourself? Do you really think we're going to pay off your sister's debt? by working harder? Or do you want to pass it on to her? Since clearly, you don't seem to think she's your responsibility. I never said that. Jack's family really liked That's you. That's the same, uh... They've personally invited you to their house. You are not messing up this chance for us. Got it? Hey, you don't have to talk to her like that. Why are you putting her on the spot like that? Because I'm telling I knew I should have fought back just like Jack did, but I couldn't. 
I had too much at stake. Anger bubbled up inside me as I went over to Jack's house the next day. Why was this I so weak? with the narration. Why did my sister have to fall sick? Even the word heavily. Why did my dad have to lose all our money? I was furious at my parents. At myself. At this whole twisted world. I'm so tired of this. You are not leaving. I am sick and tired of this disrespect. Do you do something? Huh? Why are they fighting? We took the effort to apologize to that girl's parents and invite her over here. Now, you are not leaving without seeing her. I told you that you cannot force me to marry or meet someone that I don't want. There's nothing you can do to change me. Yes, there is. I can disinherit you and remove you from the company. What? Do you think yeah, I, I want a useless slanderer out. for a son? Do you think that someone without a wife or an heir has the right to inherit what I've built? You take one step off this property today, I will ensure that you are penniless. Stop it! Oh, yeah, man. Lily, you're here. What are you doing? Why are you talking to your son like that? Who do you think you are to raise your voice at me? I will deal with my son however I see fit. I knew I should have shut up, but this was too much. And my pent-up rage was my boiling days. over. If you're threatening your son by forcing him to make a life-changing decision, then you're a bad parent. Excuse me? Do you know who I am? Yeah, you're a bad parent. Why, you little... Okay, that's enough, Dad. Come on, we're out of here. Look what you did. Now he's never gonna come back. Yeah. You tell him... Thank you for sticking up for me, but you shouldn't have done that because my father is not a good person. No, he was horrible to you. I couldn't watch it. Thank you, but again... You really didn't need to do that. Especially after how rude I was to you yesterday. I didn't think you were rude at all. I was actually amazed at how you fought back. I wish I could be more like you. I want to be more like you. The fact is, my parents forced me to pursue you too. They made me come here, but I don't have to listen to them. I know the difference between right and wrong, yes. and this is wrong. So, I can't do this. I'll leave you alone now, but it was nice to meet you, Jack. Lily, wait. I have an idea. That's like... What if we tell our parents that we're dating? Even if we're not? They can't force us to get married immediately, well, you're not. right? We can buy some time, and they probably wouldn't bother us again for at least a year. If my parents left me alone and stopped sending me on these endless setups, I could mm. focus on getting more jobs and supporting Tulip myself. Let's do it. All right, we have a deal. And so I partnered up with Jack and we drafted a lie that would soothe both our parents. Later that week, we announced that we were dating to our parents. My mom was so over the moon that she hugged me for the first time in years. My daughter is going Brilliant. to marry a billionaire. Calm down, mom. Don't rush us. We need at least a year to get to know each other. Oh, I know, I know, honey. It's just, I am so happy. Oh my gosh. This is so exciting. I told you my plan was gonna work. Now that I finally got my parents off my back, I got a second job working as a freelancer online, and I spent several nights poring over my laptop. Of course, I had to go to work during the day too, and the whole hassle left me exhausted. In the middle of it all, I had to go on regular dates with Jack, or my parents would get suspicious. But the odd thing was, these so called dates were time, actually really? really fun. Since Let's we weren't say anyway. really together, there was no pressure. I could just be myself. We watched movies, went to the museums, and ate till our stomachs hurt. In my stressful, hectic life, Jack was a breath of fun and fresh air. I couldn't help but look forward to meeting him with my whole heart. But whenever the feelings got too strong, I squashed them down. Remember, Lily, you're dirt poor and you lied to him. He'll never date someone like you. Hey, 
Are you all right? You look down. No, I'm fine. It was pretty stressful trying to hide my lies from him. I was working so much that I often had to cancel on him, and I had to make a different excuse each time. I could tell he was getting suspicious. All right. Let's go. Do you think he was? One time, I was working at my waitressing job, and I saw Jack about to walk inside. If he found out I was a waitress, he'd definitely know I was a liar. I threw off my apron, pulled down my hair, and rushed to a table to pretend I was a customer. I see it wasn't good enough. You know it's with you. Hey, what are you doing here? Uh, I was just eating. Alone? Yeah. Yeah. Why are you here? I was just grabbing a coffee. Why are you sweaty and out of breath? Oh, uh, I just did like 10 jumping jacks. Lily, are you, um, are you, are you seeing someone else? I mean, not, not, uh, that I, not that I care, I just... No, I was just here alone. I feel like you're hiding something from me. Just then, my manager came out of the kitchen, and I panicked. What if she asked me to get back to work? I jumped to my feet, made an excuse, and raced out of the cafe. I actually have to go to the bathroom. What, outside? Yeah, the bathroom's in here, gross. Wow. Tis the season for streaming on Paramount Plus. Start your free trial today. What, outside? Yeah, the bathroom's in here, gross. This was not sustainable. If I wanted any chance of being in Jack's life, I had to come clean to him myself. I gathered up the courage that week and went over to his house to see him. But when I got there, I found some unexpected guests in his living room. What's going on here? Hey, Lily, I'm glad you made it. You invited her here? Yeah, she said she wanted to come, so I said yes. Besides, Lily's my girlfriend. I didn't know he had a girlfriend. My parents are already trying to set me up with yeah. someone else. Can you believe that? <laughs> Amy is gorgeous. She's well read. Let's see. And she's from an esteemed family. So is Lily. No, she's not. Not even rich at all. In fact, I'm glad you're here, Miss Lily. I get to expose you to your face. Yeah. What are you talking about? After the uh, embarrassing manner in which you spoke to me last time, I did some research. It turns out your father made some horrible investments in the stock market, didn't he? You're completely broke, aren't you? And you just came after Jack for our money. That's not true, Dad. Lily's never pushed me to marry her or be with her. She spends time with me because she likes me, not because I'm rich. I can't believe that you would make stuff up about her just to make me feel... Jack, stop. I want to strike, Mike. I can't lie anymore. It's true. I'm broke. What? We're not billionaires, and I'm not a wealthy heiress. In fact, I think my parents are like a million dollars in debt. And we went after you because you're wealthy. No way. But that's not why I continue to stay with you. I really loved hanging out with you and getting to know you. That was all real. Nonsense. You were just trying to trick Jack into falling for you. I've seen manipulative women like you before. God only knows what would have happened to Jack if I hadn't stepped in. I'm sorry, Jack. I would never take advantage of you. You have to believe me. Let me guess. Let the hurry Finally, my secret was out, and it came out in the worst way possible. I wanted to tell Jack myself, but I waited too long, and now the opportunity was gone forever. Have you had the narration? It's actually coming from her mind, right? And exhausted. I had only one Each place time left to go. Said, just like she's I rushed it to the hospital to be by my sister's side. I tried to keep my composure, but I didn't want to bother Tulip. 
My mother came storming into the room looking utterly furious. Lily, Jack's parents just called me. You told them we were a million dollars in debt? They found out on their own. I just owned up to it. Because you yelled at them first, or else they would have never checked. Isn't that true? Yeah. Yes. We lost one of the richest we get it. families because of you. I cannot believe you ruined this for me. It is so, so, so stupid, but I am forgiving you. We'll find you a new husband. I'll set up some more dates. No. It doesn't work there. I said no. I'm not being set up anymore. Not. And I'm not going out with random guys anymore, and I'm not lying for you anymore. <laughs> Feeling all brave, huh? After I forgave you for messing it up with Jack's parents? You're gonna be selfish and ungrateful and leave Tulip alone? If you really cared about Tulip, you'd have three jobs like I do. But all you care about is your personal wealth and status, and you use me for it. How dare you? I raised you, Look at that. and you'll do as I say. I'll never listen to you again. I'll never let you manipulate me again. Make your own money. Ahem. We're not done. The moment we were alone, Tulip demanded to know what happened. The full story. I finally told my sister everything that happened from the start. Lily, you, you really let our parents do all that to you? Why? Because... Uh, we're in a mountain of debt. Dad's debt, the mortgage, and... And my medical bills. That's what you were gonna say, right? Lily, did you do all this for me? No. No point anyway. Must be a bit selfish or something. Let's say if not used to do something, get it? No. Then why did you do it? I mean, we had a plan, remember? We were gonna start our own online fashion business and pay it all off. <laughs> Tulip dreams are great, but they're not reality. We are so far in debt that we can't even get a loan. So you'll marry someone just to pay off my bills? I mean, you're making yourself unhappy. I would do anything for you. I know that. But you should really tell that boy Jack about me. Absolutely not. I will not use you as an excuse for my lies. I've hurt him enough, and I just need to leave him alone. Of course Tulip wasn't gonna listen to me. I fell asleep beside her bed. But when the morning came, I was woken up by the touch of warm fingers on my head. I looked up to see Jack looking down at me. Jack? Do it. What are you doing here? Well, your sister texted me on your phone and she gave me the address, so here I am. Tulip? What? You were being all mopey, so I had to do it. Now you can talk it out. <laughs> Why didn't you tell me about your sister and all the jobs that you were doing? I would have understood. Because I didn't want to use her as an excuse. It was me who decided to lie. And I followed my mom's schemes. But you were doing it because you were in a bad situation. Lily, you should have trusted me and told me. I didn't want you to think that I'm a liar. I don't think you're a liar. Well, I did last night. <laughs> After everything your sister told me, I, I'm not angry at you, Lily. Really? Yeah. I knew that. You weren't being evil. You were just trying to survive. Yes, you lied to me, but you didn't want to marry me. I don't want to say and it's because the video wasn't nearly over. You were working hard to solve your problems on your own. I mean, how can I be mad at you for that? You're a good person, silly. Don't lie for me. So we can still be friends? Unless you're still seeing that other girl from yesterday. Is that a 
Is that is that jealousy that I smell? No. <laughs> Actually, um, no. Yeah, I uh, I'm not seeing her because I was was hoping that you'd go out with me. What? Them two girls yeah. were with a man anyway I like in that you, house. Lily, you're beautiful, and you're funny, and you're kinder than you know. I really want to start spending time with you and get to know you and take you out for real. But there's one condition. What's that? I'm paying your sister's medical bill. No. Come on. No, absolutely not. I can't let you do that. The whole point was to not spend your money. I know, but it's only a million bucks. <laughs> and I'd be happy to spend it on you. Because I love you. Let's just do it. I love you too. Of course, Jack didn't listen to me either. I didn't let him pay Tulip's bill, but he did become the very first investor in my company with Tulip. When she got better, Tulip and I finally started our company together. And in really? a few years, we made enough money to pay off all our debts ourselves. Prove it then. Not we even had some money left over for my small wedding with Jack. There, we, there they are. Tulip was made of honor, of course. And neither of our parents showed up. Totally out of but hospital. But we were still blissfully happy. This was our fairy tale. Yeah, we don't even need to see any of Jack's parents around, I suppose, eh? Never mind. Want to print then. out your pet's photos for free? Then download free prints? Just up. There we go, that was a bit interesting somehow. Alright. I think it was for now. Okay, a bit of wild there. Alright.